What's, what's your Roberts. first name and what's your role in the festival? Uh, my name is Paul Roberts. I am with Claim Boxing Club, and my role is that we're uh, going to be in the parade with Ballymore Hollywood, and then after the parade, we're looking to do an exhibition show in the Abbey uh, after the parade. So really, it's just to show what Clane has and what talent Clane has. And we're also just advertising ourselves, because obviously we're a new club. So just advertising ourselves to people out there and just come along and have a look at these young kids, because they've worked really hard at what they're doing. Is it young kids only or adults as well in the exhibition? Uh, I've got the age from nine years old. I've actually got a nine-year-old all the way up to 17-year-olds. Okay. Uh, fighting. So I've, I've even got an actually a 32 year old man fighting as well. So okay. just two adults or so fighting as well. But it's mostly to just promote the young kids of the area and show them what they're actually doing. So, so I suppose in your viewpoint, what, what's the benefit of boxing for you, Stan? Uh, a lot of benefits. It's a lot to do with confidence and stuff like that. I find a lot of kids that come to boxing are very shy, very withdrawn, most probably being bullied at school. And what, what the training does, it gives them belief in themselves. It doesn't give them the thug sort of attitude or anything like that. It just makes them believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. And it gives them the confidence. And obviously doing tournaments and stuff like that, and the more and more confidence you see getting pulled out of these young kids. And it's, it's actually really good to actually see. You know, and obviously fitness as well is the main part of it. So fitness and obviously diet as well with the young kids as well, especially with obesity going on. Uh, these, some of these kids are losing like stone and weight. I've had one young lad, he's lost what, a stone and a half. So, you know, and he's slimmed down and everything and he's loving his training and just seeing a total change in this kid is just unbelievable. So, and it's good to actually see that. And obviously it gets brushed off for other kids and they're starting doing exactly the same. People at that age, they kind of follow suit. Yeah, of course. They look up to this. They look up to this young man, and they're thinking, "Geez, he's come on." And when he did, they realise he's only been doing it a year and a half, and he was quite a chubby little kid, <laughs> and now he's very lean and very, you know, and he's he's turning out to be a great fighter, and he's been absolutely brilliant. He's been a role model. Yeah, so it's yeah. sort of like it's good for other kids to actually see someone else, and then trying to do that as well. So it's a very positive environment. It's good for the community. <clears throat> good for friendship. Yeah good for yourself, the self-esteem and confidence. Uh, what would you say to the, maybe a negative point that it's dangerous? Um, how would you manage the dangerous aspects? Of well, it, the danger is, every sport's dangerous. You can get a collision, you can get a head clash, you can get collide, collisions in rugby. Every sport's dangerous. It's, as we sort of say, it's like a controlled violence. Yeah, it is, but it's not, it, it's very strict. It is very strict. You got bigger, you got bigger gloves. You got head guards, gun shields, groin protectors. So yeah, it is kind of it is violence in certain ways. But it's fair, it's you get hurt more in a rugby field, I yeah. would find, yeah. than what you would do in boxing. Yeah. So you know, it's it's not as vicious as what people make out. It's actually a lot safer, you know, than a lot of sports out there. So you know, um, in terms of people joining then your club. Um, Again, is, is there an adult age group or is it always used for your club and where do you train and do you have a website and things like that? Yep, we have Clang, uh, Boxing Club's website and everyone's welcome. I have kids with Down syndrome coming to our club. I have a guy who's 67 years old comes to my club. I have, you know, kids who I just did a class now with four or five years old. So as I said, we don't care. Everyone is welcome. As you come in the door, everyone's welcome. If, you, if, you, if they pay their money, they do exactly the same as what the good lads do. Um, and you would train boxing skills, but would you, do you also um, go into nutrition as well? Or is that just something I that kind of follows it? Or? I try not to go too much into nutrition because the reason why is because I don't want kids getting paranoid about their weight. Okay. Because once you go into that, it's a very dangerous minefield. So obviously we're kind of conscious of weights and stuff like that, but we don't, inf we don't, you know, make it's it too strict. It's more just the boxing. Yeah, I, I, just to, they'll do it themselves, but I don't want to be putting pressure on them okay. because with kids going and, you know, it's dieting down and it's not healthy for them. Okay. It's not healthy. So last comment then. The time and place for the exhibition again this week? The exhibition will be after the parade on Tuesday. So obviously we'll be looking to go on, I think the parade finishes at half four, so we'll be going on about quarter to five, five o'clock. Down in the Abbey. Down in the Abbey. Perfect. Best so, of luck. Thank you very much. Cheers. Good, thank you. No problem.